move on to our third soapbox session, um, which is um, uh, from Dot Williams, who works for Butterfly Conservation on the Natura Biff project uh, for the High Brown Fertillery, um, which is a large scale project to try and save a Welsh species from extinction. So over to you, Dot. So Natura Biff um, is a Wales wide project largely funded by the National Lottery Heritage Fund. We have nine conservation charities working under the auspices of NRW and the project that Richard Smith and I are working on is about the high brown fritillary butterfly in the Vale of Glamorgan, Brydeg Brown in Welsh. Um, it's the only site of this butterfly now in the whole of Wales, so it's really important. The Natarand Biff project itself has um, key, key objectives. So it's about pushing risks to threatened species on the agenda and showing why it matters, not only to those of us who kind of work in conservation, but to the wider public as well. And we're looking at different ways of how we can save um, Wales's most endangered species. We are hoping to inspire people um, from many different walks of life. And by the end of the project, we want to show that we have actually helped to improve the habitats, the, the, the species, and we're collaborating with all of these charities and organisations to look at different ways of finding solutions. So why the high brown fertility? Its conservation status across the UK is that it is the most endangered butterfly across the UK. We've got just the one colony now in Wales, down between Iweni and St Bride's Major. And the threat priority in Wales is still considered very high and the action is urgent. We've already lost it in Meriones and many other places, so we've got to save this butterfly. Now, thanks to some very good volunteers, we have some fabulous um, photography of this butterfly. Um, these are courtesy of Frank Sengpiel this year. Um, it's an amazing butterfly flies between June and sometimes the beginning of August. Last year, the very hot spell at the end of July, we saw no more butterflies after that, unfortunately. The habitat is really important. We're very lucky in the Vale of Glamorgan to have this wonderful limestone habitat on Old Castle Down and the butterfly loves the mixture of bracken, of the viola riviniana, the common dog violet, which the caterpillars feed on, which you can find around the edges of the down and on the edges of the path. The top right-hand picture is of uh, an area called Ruvorgan, which is near Pant Quarry. Again, a wonderful site for the butterfly. And at the top of Rue Vorgan, we've actually got um, a really good site for adders as well, which is another species within Nataran Biff. The bottom left-hand corner shows um, a more of a meadow kind of area with, with a lot of bracken, which is on the Iweni Priory uh, estate, which Butterfly Conservation also manages for the butterfly. So we have this wonderful complexity of habitats in the Vale of Glamorgan uh, at the western edge, and this is what's important for our butterfly. So an innovative approach to habitat management that we're trialling, in addition to the usual kind of coppicing and, and things like that, is going to be the introduction of no fence grazing on Old Castle Down. And this map, shows the main area of Old Castle Down with the yellow area being where we are going to work with the local commoners 
to graze only a small number of cattle in the first instance to actually look at how that can improve the habitat management of the an area where the millennia has grown rather too long for the sheep to graze. The area between the yellow and white is where we know the high brown fritillary actually breeds. So cattle will be excluded through the, from that area until later in the summer when again we know it's an area that does need further grazing but we don't want them eating the eggs where the, the butterflies have laid so the cattle will be moved on to that area later in the year the red area so is an area and i've got to, got to go i got a quick i know um is an area that cattle will be excluded at all times because we know that that's actually a breeding area for the butterfly so in addition to all of the habitat elements part of our work has been engaging with lots of members of the public so you get me dressing up as a butterfly we've had a beer named after the butterfly we're leading walks so we're doing lots of things to raise the profile of the butterfly as well so to Jochen Bauer thank you that's lovely thanks very much Dot and uh, for, for being so prompt in the, <laughs> the end <laughs> a whistle stop tour <laughs> no I, I, yes again another you know sort of uh um, fascinating species and one that we really do need to protect in our in our area. So thank you for that.